Now, this is a reversal of our normal way of looking at the world. We look outside. Now we're going to look inside. When we want to look inside, we close our eyes so that we don't see outside. When we close our eyes, we see a darkness in front of us. Why do we see darkness in front of us? We see darkness because we're still trying to see outside. And we shut the power to see outside. It's as simple as that. We are not looking inside, we are still looking outside. If you close your eyes, you won't see what is outside when you still try to look outside. And we spend time closing our eyes and thinking we are looking inside. How, how have you started looking inside? The eyes don't look inside. They are the same eyes in the physical body. Just by closing the eyes, you don't stop looking outside. You can't see outside because you close your eyes. If you have got your eyes open, you put your hands on top, you can't see. If you put your lids on the eyes in front of them, you can't see. But you're still looking outside. There's no way that you can say, by closing my eyes, I'm looking inside. Big mistake. People have been closing their eyes, talking with their tongue, mantras, chanting, and saying, we are finding something inside. They found nothing inside, ever. I've never found anybody who's found anything inside. How can you? It's common sense that the eyes are meant to see outside. You close them so you can't even see outside. But you're still trying to see outside because those are the same eyes. You're trying to speak with the tongue and murmuring in your mouth something, sometimes not only murmuring. You're carrying something, beads in your hands. And you're moving those beads which are outside and move them and chant words and think you're going inside? How can you? No way. So don't fool yourself by thinking that by doing anything outside, you're going inside. And yet we read all the time, the truth is inside, not outside at all. So how can any of these things help us? The very reason why we have to get guidance from somebody outside is because we have no other place to look for inside except outside. We are searching our inside by looking outside. And that's where these perfect living masters come. And they talk to us, they guide us, and they guide us to go really within ourselves and not outside. But they are outside. They are not real. They can't be. If, one, if everything is unreal outside, how can the masters be real? They're equally unreal. They're equally unreal as the outside world, equally unreal as your own body, equally unreal as everything that you're examining and looking at when you're in a physical body. Yet they're playing a role. They're playing a role outside to bring you inside. Well, nothing else brings you inside, not even closing your eyes. They come and tell us that it is not looking with the eyes that will take you inside. It is looking with your awareness, your consciousness, which means differentiate between looking and being somewhere. Differentiate between looking at something or being somewhere. Now when you are somewhere, that's not looking. Supposing you close your eyes and say, where am I? You are not looking. You can say, I am sitting on my chair here. You can all say that. You can close your eyes and say, I am sitting on a chair here. You don't have to look. You feel. You can feel that you are sitting on a chair. That's a, a number of sensations are going into making you feel that you are sitting in a chair. Now, when we close our eyes and still try to look, then we are always outside. But supposing we don't look and feel, feel where we are, we can feel we are sitting somewhere with our eyes closed. Then we say, What's happening inside our head? What do we feel inside our head? Inside my head, I am trying to close my eyes, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to feel. Can you feel yourself sitting inside? Now there's one big gift given to us to make that happen. That gift is called imagination. Now we think imagination is imaginary. We dismiss it as secondary, something second class. It's not real, it's imaginary. We have always put imaginary, imagination in a different category, not to be taken seriously because reality is something else. It's imaginary. 
okay, we'll determine that later with experience, whether it's so imaginary or not. But for the time being, let's examine what does the power of imagination do? <coughs> Can we, with the power of imagination, with our eyes closed, feel that we are sitting inside, not see? Can we feel we are sitting inside? With a little practice, you'll see you can. What else can you do with the power of imagination? You can feel you're sitting inside and make the body as if it is around you. That you are sitting in the head of this body. That the rest of the body is below you. And you are on the top of it. And that you are there. Your imaginary self is not this body. Now, you, say, you might say when the body awareness is there, you'll say, I must be a small person. I must be small to sit, fit in a head. As you imagine yourself a small person in the head, but gradually you expand to the same size that this body is still inside. Then you can stand up and sit down without moving this body at all. Then you can start doing everything. What is that form of which you are conscious? And it's not this body. Have you just made up an imaginary self of yours? Or are you moving in something that's closer to the center within the body? The truth is that doing the simple exercise, an imaginative exercise, you are actually moving towards the center of the head in this physical body where the consciousness exists. If you have to discover your true self, which is consciousness, you have made a big step forward in going to the place where it exists. Otherwise, you were looking outside all the time. So being there is quite different from looking for something there. You can be there and look outside. You can be there and look outside and say, these are my eyes and I am going beyond the eyes. But this is not eyes saying that. It's you in a different form saying that. You can convert yourself from this form to that form at will in a very simple exercise. These perfectly will masters or any masters who teach you how to go with it can teach you very easily how to do that. How to position yourself as conscious beings, not as an outside image, but as yourself. Yourself who is moving, sitting, doing things and talking inside with thoughts. <coughs> 